When your pet has a medical emergency, you need Animal Emergency Care, staffed by caring professionals to serve your pet in a state-of-the-art veterinary hospital. Open nights, weekends, and every major holiday. Animal Emergency Care, in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. This cat could be a star. (laughs) Seriously. Our cafe critter of the day, something you haven't seen before. Hi, Laura Clark from the Whatcom Humane Society. Here she is. <laughs> okay. says, Hello, visit my Instagram page. No kidding. Where I wear funny hats and go on trips. <laughs> we'll Snapchat later, and I don't even know what that means, but I'm going to say it. You I used think, it right. Okay. Right, because the kids know. The first She's, thing I tried to figure out is, was she created by Jim Henson <laughs> or Tim Burton? She was made for this social media age. No kidding. She's wonderful. Her name is Ashes. She's about five years old. She's a purebred Persian kitty. And, oh, I love her so much. And I love her little face. And you can do this and squeeze it. And you can make fun with her hair. Now, she does have a really bad haircut right now. But it will grow back. And as you can tell, her hair is actually a gorgeous color. And so picture six months from now when she's all poofy and luxurious. Mm -hmm. Um, She's just great. She's friendly and social and mellow. She gets along with mellow dogs and mellow cats and mellow people. I mean, she's just kind of a chill cat looking for a new home. She likes to go outside, which could get her into trouble. Yeah. I don't imagine, although in her mind, she might think she's a tough lion hunter. Yeah, a fierce warrior. <laughs> I'm not so <laughs> sure how well she is going to actually do out there if she encounters a predator. And, you know, this time of year, you've got coyotes and raccoons and all sorts of stuff going on. And, and so if you are going to let her outside, you definitely want to make sure that she's in a safe environment. Or there's so many products that you can use to help your cat with enrichment in the house. Um, There's toys, there's interactive toys, there's scratching pads, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do to keep them busy and occupied. But she's just the best. I I just don't even know what to say about her except she's the best. So what what breed is this? So she's a Persian, and so that's where she gets that little squished-in face there. Um, I had a Persian many years ago. He's one of the sweetest, happiest cats I've ever had. Definitely because kind of the pug equivalent of a cat. Right. So the nose is a little squished. You are going to have some possible bronchial issues to think about. Um, I don't think she's going to run any marathons with with that nose okay. um, and her lung capacity. But wow, I'll tell you, you you're never going to find a cat sweeter than this little girl. She's just, usually cats come in here and they're a little bit freaked mm-hmm. out. She's walked in as if she's been here her whole life. Yeah, I was holding her for a long time. Yeah. She was like, that's cool. I don't know you, go. but it's all good. So, uh, and how old is she? I'm sorry. She's about five years old. Five. She's oh, headed you your back? way. <laughs> Kitty. And she's really little, mm-hmm. but then you picture when her hair grows out, she's going to look right. like this big, spectacular cat, but yeah. she's probably five pounds, petite little thing. Okay, and so why was her hair cut? Uh, she was really matted, yeah. which with those long-haired cats like that, regular grooming will be a must. So you got to brush them on a regular definitely, basis. Definitely, at least a couple times a week. Okay, very good. Her name is Ashes, and I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but it's a perfect name. She definitely has ash-colored fur. (laughs) And the best face ever. (laughs) She's a pretty cool cat. I like her hair the same. I like that cut. You like like it? I like the poofy Mm -hmm. face, feet, and tail, and then the little body. It would be good for social media, too, because she could dress up in in outfits, a little tutu. Yeah, a little Fourth of July, a little hat, Mm -hmm. little, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put it back down so we can see all of her. Cool cat, Laura. (laughs) <laughs> All right. She uh, is obviously not the only animal you have. If ashes isn't right for you, you can find all kinds of dogs and cats and gerbils and guinea pigs and whatever else you're looking Lots for. Lots of horses and llamas and sheep as well. Go to walkhamhumane.org. Very good. And go meet ashes because she's pretty cool. Laura Clark from the Whatcom Humane Society. Thank you so much. Have a great week.